Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install this silicone hose kit into your Dodge Cummins. Over time, your factory hoses will start getting dry rotted, crack, and break. These hoses will really give you the durability that you need out of your truck. Let's check it out. Tools needed to install the Mishimoto silicone radiator hose kit for the 2003 to 2009 Dodge 5.9 and 6.7 liter Cummins are a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, needle nose pliers, linesman pliers, flathead screwdriver, and pick tool, coolant, and coolant funnel. Installation time is about an hour and is a two out of five on the difficulty level. First things first, we want to disconnect the negative terminal on both batteries. Our next step is drain the coolant. Our next step is going to be to remove the upper hose from the radiator. Next step, remove the upper hose from the water outlet. When the trucks are this old, sometimes these tend to get a little rusted on there. Next step, remove the lower hose from the radiator. All right guys, now that we have the hoses out of the truck, we can compare them right to the Mishimoto. Putting them side by side, the differences are immediate. The stock hose is old, rubber, started the dry rot, has even torn on one side, and has rusted to the engine at some point. Mishimoto hose, all silicone construction, will really handle the amount of heat and abuse that this truck is given. This is the hose to go with, plus has a lifetime warranty. Really can't beat that. Now that you have those old hoses out of the truck, let's go ahead and install the Mishimoto ones. Next, install the lower silicone hose to the radiator and the engine. All right guys, now it's time to install the upper radiator hose. All right guys, now that we're done installing the Mishimoto hose kit, we're gonna go ahead and fill it back up with coolant. Remember to use a 50-50 mix of coolant and water. Now that we've finished filling up the cooling system, we're gonna go ahead, turn the vehicle on, and turn the heat on high. This will help us bleed any of the leftover air bubbles that are in the cooling system. All right guys, that concludes the install. Go ahead, take your truck out for a spin, and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.